excuse me hey guys this is nate voices and i'm back with another video uh this time we'll be discussing the different types of uses of crystals and what they can be used for and how to uh, correctly use them so like i was saying in the short video um if you haven't seen it yet this is oregon this can work with um, any type of chakra um, you're looking to focus on as you can see it has different color patterns inside the pyramid which represent the different chakra um, pools of energy so obviously this red right here at the bottom is the root chakra it's called the root chakra at the base and this is located in the genital area so right there um, and then our next color is the sacral which is the the orangish color you know right above the red um, that is located at your belly button so right here and then our next one we have is the solar plexus which is the yellow right here that's located right up in this area your upper abdomen and then we have our next color is the green chakra obviously being your heart chakra which is right here blue throat chakra which is right here and purple which represents your third eye right here usually at the tippy tippy top um it would be pink for the crown chakra because you have seven but oregon only came with six so that's fine it still works the same way with all the chakras though and then next one we have here is lapis loosely she works with clarity um giving you clarity you know for your throat chakra and your mindset um in general and she works on, also works and focuses on um, bringing truth and light to those who seek it. So when you use this um, crystal, um, it helps devoid you of confusion and uh, confliction as well. Now for the serpentine, they focus on the, the dream state and the heart chakra as well. This is clear quartz. Clear quartz is a master healer. It focuses um, on all energetic points inside the body. Um, clear quartz also is a amplifying um, crystal as well. You can use it to um, help amplify your other crystals. Um, amethyst amethyst um, does the same thing as well, but it also focuses on third eye energy, help opening and uh, uh, cal decalcifying that third eye. Um, and this one works in the dream state as well a lot of purple and blues focus on spirituality um and and, and subconscious kind of uh energy so you know gotta have you some of that and then this one i think is rose quartz i don't know if you guys can tell but rose quartz have a, a pinkish white look to them that focuses on um love and more healthy relationships um in all aspects of that tiger's eye have this blackish brown color um this focuses on protection against uh negative energies and negative entities and this is obsidian this absorbs negative energy but be careful with obsidian uh, excuse me obsidian because um just as much as energy it can take in um if you keep it around you a lot you'll notice that 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 negative energy will start to seep out into your environment so these obsidians need to be cleansed uh, quite a bit if you're using them a lot and you um, like to incorporate them in your your heal your healing journey and your meditations make sure you cleanse them after or put them under cold water for 10 minutes um, just to get that that energy out of them so it doesn't carry on and build up that inner that negative energy and, and whatnot this is onyx this focuses on um same thing with uh with obsidian but it's slightly different this focuses on protection and past lives so you can use this to um look into your past lives um link into and connect to those different parts of yourself um also i sleep with this under my pillow for protection as well and the astral realms and things like that and <laughs> This one is called Clear Aura Quartz. It's just like the Clear Quartz, but like I said, slightly different. Um, same thing though, but slightly different. This um, works on clearing um, any unwanted energy and 
uh, as well as bringing healing. And I don't know everything about these crystals, just the majority that I own, I know about. Um, I'm still learning as I go. So, you know, as I'm learning, I will make sure to um, implement that within my videos, and, um, upload on new topics and things like that about the crystals. And this one is also an amethyst. So um, let me just show you guys two examples of amethyst. This is one example. Per had that purplish, whitish, milky color. And this is a red jasper. This focuses on grounding energy. And I'm just going to take out my book just so we can get a bit more details about these crystals because I like to be, uh, I like to be prepared and, you know, uh, what's it called? Just very detailed in anything I'm trying to teach people because I want you guys to know the exact things these uh, crystals do and what, what they can help with, you know? So, do, 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 do. Jasper. and you guys feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. If you have any knowledge um, on these crystals, do not hesitate to, you know, point out things or, you know, uh, put your input in. But actually, I think this one's carnelian. Carnelians and jaspers look a lot alike. Well, I think this one might be carnelian, actually. So, uh, this one is a stone of motivation and inspiration. Um, helps to. Uh, remove creative blockage blockages um yeah yeah so it just this is just to help build confidence and that motivation and inspiration you're looking for and let me get the citrine this i've got like so many citrines but these are three examples of the citrines they have this yellowish whitish look to them and uh all all crystals come in different complexions just like ple uh, people just like people um a citrine could be blue and you know when their standard color is yellow but like i said they come in these different complexions um but they're still within the same family so i, I hope you guys you know understand what i'm saying it's like like for example like there could be an obsidian and we know how obsidians are black, but I have this um, this spotted one. And the difference between an obsidian and black obsidian is that obsidian has um, a different variation of color, but black obsidian is all black and being obsidian, so yeah. And the citrine ones, they focus on abundance and prosperity. Um, and illuminates and balances chakras cleansing the aura filling you with warmth and positivity and it is considered a self-cleansing crystal so that's a plus about that you know if you don't clean it it's fine it cleanses it cleanses itself and it cleanses other environments um other environments it cleanses other crystals in it in its environment as well so having this crystal around my other crystal will transfer and transmute that cleansing energy to all my other crystals so you know you won't have to do that too much and this one is red jasper. Um, jasper. Burr, 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 burr. Do, do, do. Yeah, jasper focuses on um, grounding your energy. Um, this is especially helpful for people who have uh, a lot of anxiety and just fears about a lot of things having this around you will help calm those fears and those worries and those anxieties um pulling them away from you and the crystal will absorb them bringing you um that calming uh relieving energy and i think this one might be a amazonite amazonite and this one focuses on, it could be a jade, I think, too. But, yeah, jade Jade is either way. If, it, if this is jade, this one focuses on the heart chakra, uh, also bringing abundance and prosperity. Color green is also represents health um, and fertility. So this will be good for to use for if you're wanting to manifest a lot of things as well. 
and the if that is an Amazonite, um, it has a calming effect. Effect helps you express yourself authentically and open up to your creative side. Um, so also, Amazonite focuses on attracting success, improving concentration, and overcoming hardship. It brings balance to all things generally associated with peace, joy, and inspiration. But um, what other ones do I have that I can show you guys? So this is Labradite. This focuses on the spiritual aspect of things. Helps you with um, meditations a lot and um, and uh, astral projecting. My bad. And it has this like reflective color on it, which is so like gorgeous. I just adore Labradite a lot. Yep and nephrite jade this is like a darkish greenish black and you can like when you start learning about crystals you can link the colors to the attributes of what they do so for example like we how we see here with the nephrite jade it's black and green so if we're thinking in terms of black we're going to know that it's going to uh, uh, absorb energy and then thinking green it's going to transmute the energy into something healthier so this is what nephrite jade does nephrite jade um she absorbs energy but transmutes it into positive energy because of she's black and green mixed with that black and green so when you start learning about the the color spectrum and what colors represent you can easily identify what these crystals do and what what they're used for based on the color so like like with the organ we know that since it's on the full color spectrum almost the full color spectrum of the whole chakra line we know that this is going to be used to cleanse and heal all of the chakras so when you just start getting used to the crystals and whatnot it, it'll be a lot easier to identify the crystals and you know what they're used for how to use them in manifestations and also remember remember this guys when you use your crystals um and you want to manifest or you're trying to generate something for a specific thing remember that um you need to use geometric patterns for the crystals and you need to also know which crystals amplify and which crystals um which crystals where's my jasper and which crystals crystals <laughs> which crystals ground your energy okay um, it's very important to know the difference because um, some crystals being next to each other won't work It'll sometimes it'll cancel out the other crystals energy or it'll absorb that crystals energy or um, Or it just won't connect at all and link with each other because they're opposing energies So just just know that and um, I will include a link in the bio about um, oh, uh, I will include a link in the bio about what websites you guys can use to help identify crystals and their, all their meanings and things like that and then i will be including um the link for this book and um this book's taught me quite a lot as well it's got a lot of stuff about you know tarot sun and moon signs uh zodiac signs health lines even the way your fingernails are shaped and and how all that plays into effect of your life and you know different um auras are in here and chakra lines so this is a very very uh useful book but this is called practical magic for beginners exercises rituals spells for the new mystic this is by maggie has hasman and i got this on amazon but like i said i will include the link in the bio and you guys have a great beautiful awesome day